Hey everybody, Peg here. So the president has COVID. Raise your hand if you're surprised. Holy crap. Um, it's quite terrifying. Uh, I, I do want to say right up front that I, I wish him well. I hope that, that he pulls through this. Uh, but I, 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 I hope he gets ravaged and I hope he lies on his bed and begs for air and begs for his life. The way all those Americans who died, who never had a chance because they didn't have the proper information that he had and didn't give. Um, they didn't have to die. And I hope that he comes back uh, a changed man and apologizes to the American people and does start doing the right thing. I hope he doesn't fly through this with ease because quite honestly, that would just be very bad for our country because you can't deny the fact that 200,000 people, 200, people have died over this. And um, I hope he's not going to be a, a statistic to his own mishandling of, of this virus. Uh, so I, I hope that hope everybody starts wearing masks. I don't like what, I see, uh, what I'm seeing on social media with uh, all the memes and everybody like basically dancing in the streets that the president is sick and could die. Um, dude, I, I am no fan, but nobody deserves to go through this. Not one more person, I don't care who you are, not one person deserves to go through what he's about to go through. Um, and uh, just because I don't want Trump to die doesn't mean that I don't want him to uh, have this impact him. I, I would like this to impact him very hard. I want him to get punched right in the face with this. Um, I would, you know, his whole, his whole family who denied the science and denied the truth and denied the people of the truth and the science I'm okay with him being ravaged, and you know, I, I don't want President Trump to die. Nobody should die from this. Uh, and I hope he makes it through, but I hope it wakes him up. I guess it is what it is. And uh, there's nothing that the doctors can do to prevent this from progressing. And whatever is going to happen is going to happen. And I, I wish him well, um, but I hope he gets ravaged. And I don't say that with glee, I swear, I really don't. I, I would just like a little bit of karma, you know. Um, I want him to survive so that he can pay for all, all the things that he's done um, and answer to all the things that he's done um, between, you know, the, the taxes and and the non-taxes, you know, the, the white supremacy and the division and just tearing our country apart and turning the Republican Party into a cult of personality and just... just destroying stepping all over our constitution and and you know you know <laughs> all that stuff you know yeah there's you know there's so much more that that i i want this guy to stick around for and um yeah i would love to see him survive this and and have to pay his dues you know he he's got a lot of debt coming up in, in within the next four years and i would love to see how he's going to handle this um you know from jail you know if this is going to be the uh, beginning of of, uh, of the end for him, I will I will have a hard time believing it. Just the same way I I believe that um, Jeffrey Epstein hung himself. You know, I he's losing the election. He has he's in big trouble with the IRS and with the American people because of his taxes. Uh, you know, things are not going well for him. And, you know, this would be a perfect time for him to bow out and just disappear. And I, I swear to God. Um, so it, even if he does, you know, if things really do go in the worst way possible and, and he doesn't make it through this, um, I, I would feel like justice just, just didn't get served again, um, which would be what 2020 would be about. Uh, I, I'm... I haven't even gotten to the next step of thinking about what uh, uh, an America under Pence, President Pence, would be like. Thank God there's an election coming up. But this is just, can you believe this? 2020, yeah. Um, I, I guess I kind of am surprised that he got sick because he's the president and people are supposed to, everybody around him is supposed to take care of him. And he was talking about these special tests that he has and, and everybody is safe and they get their temperatures taken and seriously. And, and somehow, somehow he got sick and, you know, his, his closest aide gave it to him. And so sometimes somehow she got sick. You would think they would have, uh, you, you would have think that, that 
I, I'm sorry, I am surprised that he got it. Even with the no mask wearing in the rallies and everything, I really thought that they knew what they were doing. But anyway, he's got coronavirus, and um, let's all hope he pulls through this, but not before he gets spanked and uh, comes back a better man, right? And um, good luck, everybody. Wear that damn mask and uh, take care of yourself and take care of everybody else because uh, we may not have anybody to do it for us soon. Um, love you all. Take it easy. Uh, hit subscribe if you wouldn't mind. That'd be great. I will see you in the next video. Alright, you guys take care.